Recently, my grandparents went to the United States so they could visit my uncle, aunt, and cousins. And over there, I asked them if they could uh, get me a few things, so we got the goods. Now, when it comes to Lego stores in New Zealand, they do exist, they're just rare. There are only two, I think, that are actually in New Zealand. There's one in Auckland and there's another one that's like in Wellington or something, I don't know. But yeah, so, got some stuff in here and uh, yeah, let's uh, check it out. It's not like a ton of things, but I think it was enough just to get a um, gift with purchase because there was a freebie in there. So, uh, let's get right on into it. Okay, now you're not gonna believe what I got. We got the Dreams Poly Bag. <laughs> Okay, I don't like, if you've seen my video on dreams, um, you already know how I feel about the theme, like, I think it's alright, but my opinions are just generally kind of mixed about the whole theme. Just seems a little kiddish for me, to be honest. Yeah, I'm not really the biggest fan of these kinds of figures, um, like with what Z-Blob is there, um, that reminds me, um, a few weeks ago I did get the actual Z-Blob set, um, right there. Which I do think the brick built version's a lot better than, you know, the whatever fig version this is. Um, I guess we'll just quickly crack it open and build it. Okay, so it was a relatively quick build, but we have, um, this insects looking thing. Um, you can put a figure on it, so I'll just have, um, you know, the guy from the other set sleep here and, uh, it's a little short, but it does its job. Kind of like how it's kind of like a recliner. Because, um, I mean, some people fall asleep in recliners. We also have, um, Bunny and, uh, Slime Man. Which I find it odd how these are basically the same size, and yet this one's a figure and this one isn't. Like, like personally, I wouldn't really consider any of these two figures, but I just find that kind of odd, um... And here we have this little prison cell thing. Um, I'm assuming to put a uh, funny bunny man, but uh, yeah. Overall, this is actually a pretty nice poly bag because it has. Uh, I like the bunny piece, and I'm not really too fond of these dreams figures. They just look a little um, like if I had old mate's pencil, like that's just a really odd way to hold something. Like I don't really know how else you could have done it except for I don't know maybe make these actual figures. Or maybe, I don't know, use the minions' bodies for something. I mean, I actually like the minions' figures, but overall, I think this poly bag is pretty good for what it is. Anyway, I can't let dreams distract me from, you know, what I actually wanted for, and asked for, I guess. And there's something that I honestly can't really get aside from, like, you know, asking my grandparents to get me um, while they were gone. And it is build a minifigure. Now, for those who don't know what build a minifigure is, then chances are you've never even heard of Lego Soul. But basically, you can go in, build three custom minifigures at a time, and, uh, yeah. I just asked my grandparents if they could just get me, like, pre-built figures, because I don't really care about making customs, um... At the Lego store, I kind of just care more about, like, you know, the pieces that come with the customs in question, so... Yeah, let's start off with, um, the main one I want to get. That, of course, is the Ninjago assessment. Now, I've never actually opened up one of these things, um... I'm just gonna quickly move this off to the side, um... Just gonna move my laptop as well, because it's taking up quite a bit of space. There we go. And, uh, just on the camera too. Alright, so let's crack these bad boys open. And I'm assuming this is similar to how the San Diego Comic Con things open, right? And here we go, we got the goods. So, yeah. And uh, of course, the sword. Packaging's actually pretty cool. You can, like, display some figures in here if you want, but yeah, so let's start off. We have Aaron right here from Dragon's Rising. Um, I was also going to make a video on the Dragon's Rising wave, but I couldn't really be bothered. Um, made a video, but couldn't be bothered uploading it. Um, but yeah, this figure looks really cool, and I'm actually wondering, is this like a... No, it isn't a CMF torso, huh. I thought it was gonna be like that, um, although... Hmm. It feels like it, but it doesn't look like it, if that makes any sense. Um, comparing this to the actual Aaron minifigure that comes in the sets, I actually think this is a really good companion to the other one, and I finally have, um... Oh, the earpiece is kind of looser than I expected. It's not, like, going to fall off. So I'm just kind of expecting something a little stronger, but... Finally, more expressions for Aaron. Um, so, yeah. Just going to remove this. 
And uh, finally, I can have Aaron with his actual hairpiece. Which, I think that looks pretty good. And, uh, yeah. I think, uh, I'm just gonna play around with the figure for a moment. Okay, so I put the new head on the old Aaron, and you can't really tell the difference at all. I was kind of hoping for something a bit more, uh, you know, something that you can kind of tell more. But I also want to see how the gear looks on the torso. Hmm, this actually looks pretty cool. You can see a little bit of the um, undershirt showing, but I think it looks cool. And I also want to see how it looks with the legs as well. And, yeah, I think this actually looks like a pretty good Aaron figure. So I guess this is, like, more of a training suit, or even just, like, his generic suit. Who knows? We'll see where this goes in the show. Oh, and I almost forgot, Old Mate comes with a teapot as an accessory. Now, I want to look at Sora next, and... Yeah, the Sora figure is interesting. I really like the hairpiece. It's not accurate to the show, and hmm, this also feels kind of loose. Like, it's not accurate to the show, but I think it gets the job done. And I do appreciate the new face print, even if it's not the most accurate. Um, I really wish that, uh, she did have, um, arm printing, but I really like this torso, and this is a CMF torso, and, uh, no, it's, uh, not a CMF torso, so this is, like, the same quality that you'd find in a Lego set. Uh, comparing to the actual Sora minifigure, um, I do still kind of prefer the, um, actual figure, but I do like how now there's a separate option, and I also kind of want to see how... No, you can't really fit the hairpiece on with the mask. Hmm, that's kind of sad to be honest. Kind of hoping that you could put the two together. Um, of course if you do, obviously, take off the entire mask, then you can, of course, put the hairpiece on. And I also do want to see how the mask and that look with, um, build a mini for the Sora. And, hmm, I think you probably need, like, um, I don't know, I guess leg printing, because this just feels a little too casual, if that makes any sense. Um, but I think this is a really good Sora minifigure. Not as good as the, like, the actual one that comes in the set, but still really good for a builder minifigure piece. So, yeah. And uh, she also comes with a sword as well, which... Don't know what she's doing with Lloyd's sword, but uh, I'm, I won't question it, so... Yeah, that's it for her. And finally, we have random Dojo Woman. Um, and she comes with um, the chicken from Season 11 as an accessory. Um, here, put Sora back over there. Um, my favorite part's the hair piece, mainly just because um, I kind of want to use it for a custom um, of like a character from one of my books. And uh, this new face print? Hmm, don't really recognize um, that face print. I like the torso, even though it's not exclusive, um, but not really that common, I think I only came in one or two sets. And, uh, leg printing, I think that was just used for, like, a generic woo minifigure, so nothing really to write home about, but... Ninjago build a minifigure pack, I think is pretty good. Time for the second one, and, uh... Okay, so, I've actually noticed that there's, like, different assortments, so this is, like, the Ninjago pack. This looks like a fantasy pack, and this looks like a... Um, costume pack. I'm gonna go with the fantasy one, because I kind of prefer fantasy figures over costumes. Um, so, yeah. So, let's start off with, um, Pirate, and... Yeah, I thought the torso would, uh, have something you could feel. Okay. But yeah, the Pirate, it's actually a pretty cool figure. Um, I really like the torso, although that's the only exclusive part. I like the sword, um... The legs, I don't know where they originally came from, but they're cool. It just has a generic skull, um, which you can't really have enough of. Nice to get more skulls. And the pirate hat, I think, is actually kind of old. I think it came like the 2009 pirate sets. Um, not really a lot to say with uh, old Scallywag over here, but I think he's a pretty cool fig. Um, the wizard, this is one I was actually kind of looking forward to, and man, look at that printing. That is some excellent printing, and he also has a really cool hat as well. Um, the face isn't really anything too special. It kind of looks like Chris Pratt, but I don't have the head. And really, really nice back torso printing. Really like that. Really appreciate it. And, um, yeah, really cool wizard. Would have been cool if he had a staff, but 
I'm not really too concerned about it. And then we have the furry unicorn thing. <laughs> the head is actual from video, and I just love the printing on here. Like, I still stand by the fact I think video is underrated. Like, terrible concepts, but the minifigures were actually really good. Um, I think the torso came from, like, the Lion Knight's castle, which is really rare, because I think it was, like, used for the queen, and they just throw and build a minifigure. And the legs, I'm pretty sure, are from Spider-Man. And she also has a lance weapon and a shield. So, I actually kind of like the Unicorn Warrior. I guess, uh, I kind of understand why they did the yellow, just so it would match with, um, the other piece and build a minifigure. But I still think that, uh, yeah, this is a cool figure. Kind of looks like a My Little Pony reject, um, yeah. Don't really want to talk about ponies, so if that's the fantasy pack... And then finally, we have, um, the costume assortment, so, yep. Go. Right. So, we have, oh, this guy looks like fucking Josuke from Jojolian. Um, I guess if I, oh, I do plan on doing, like, a, um, video for, like, a custom, um, CMA series based on the second continuity of Jojo, but, yeah, I like how uh, Gappy's included. <laughs> He has a really nice torso. I don't know if that's exclusive though. I like the sailor hat and this is completely unprinted. I don't think the face is exclusive. Um, yeah, and he also comes with a ship, so yeah. I didn't get the sailor CMF, so this is actually pretty nice um, to get. Then we have um, funny ice cream and... Oh no, this actually is a new face print. I thought that they would just reuse... Um, like, the face that, um, was used for, like, the green ice cream guy, but, yeah, that's actually pretty cool, um, not really anything special for the torso and legs, um, but, I mean, they have an ice block for an accessory, that's cool, I guess. And finally, we have, um, cherry, oh, sorry, cake pie, um, oh, why am I calling cake pie? Strawberry cake, <laughs> there, um, yeah, oh, that's a really fun looking torso, and uh, I already have this head, but uh, it can't really hurt. I mean, wearing a costume anyway, which does a really nice um, looking cake, and uh, oh, they even have an exclusive pie piece. Interesting. So, yeah, that, I'd say this is a um, really good uh, build a minifigure um, pack. So, yeah, obviously my favorites, well, I guess my favorites would probably be the wizard. Um, Unicorn, and uh, probably the Green Ninjago ones, um, yeah, Skeleton's cool, but kind of wish he had more exclusive pieces, and of course we have, um, the Dreams poly bag. So, overall, I think there's a pretty good lot, and, um, yeah, so thank you so much to my grandparents for getting this for me, and, uh, yeah, that basically wraps it up for today's video, so I'll see you later. Goodbye.